the structure of DNA by kscience.com. So here I'm drawing the cell, and inside the cell is the nucleus. So the nucleus contains chromosomes. So this is the cell, and this is the nucleus inside the cell. Inside the nucleus, you find chromosomes. Chromosomes are made of tightly wrapped DNA. So the chromosomes are made of DNA that is tightly packed. So then the DNA structure is what we call a double helix. Double helix. So now we're going to look at the structure of DNA. So I'm drawing the sugar phosphate backbone. Attach the sugar to the bases. The bases are hydrogen bonded to one another. And now we're going to form the other sugar phosphate backbone. Phosphate sugar backbone. So I'm firstly going to highlight the phosphate. This is the phosphate, and this here is the sugar. So the phosphate and the sugar form the backbone. So the phosphate and the sugar, both of them form the DNA backbone. Now we're going to come onto the bases. The bases are attached to the sugar molecules in the backbone. Always remember that. So the bases are attached to the sugar. So A and T bind, G and C, C and G, and T and A bind together. Hydrogen bonds are what bond the bases together. So the bases, T and A, are hydrogen bonded together. They are hydrogen bonded together. They connect the two strands of DNA of the double helix. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. A monomer of DNA which we call a nucleotide. A nucleotide, that is a nucleotide, is a monomer of DNA. That is a nucleotide, is a monomer of DNA. So a monomer of DNA is a nucleotide. A monomer of DNA is a nucleotide, whereby a phosphate is connected to a sugar and the sugar connects a base. Do not get this wrong. You can get asked about this in the exam. So it is not the following structures. It is not a sugar phosphate base looking like that. It is also not a phosphate base and sugar in that arrangement. Those are wrong. That is correct. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So hydrogen bonds bond the bases together. So the positive and negative part of one base is going to be attracted to the negative and positive part of another base. So as you can see here, T and A bind together by hydrogen bonds. G and C have three hydrogen bonds where the positive and negative part of one base is attracted to the other. So the bases have slight electrical charges. And what happens is, is these slightly positive charges are attracted to the slightly negative charges of another base. So T and A have two hydrogen bonds and G and C have three hydrogen bonds. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets, and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.